Good morning, friends. I have, um, it's my great joy to, to get to be with you today and to share this song. I have had a long history with this song, a long history of um, uh, thwarted desire that I haven't been able to sing this song for a long time, and I've wanted to, and so it's a great delight to get to do it together today. Let's begin with a prayer. Heavenly Father, Divine Mother, Dearest friend, beloved God, great masters, Jesus Christ, Babaji Krishna, Lahiri Mahashaya, Swami Sri Yukteswar, beloved Guru Paramhansa Yogananda, saints of all religions, our friend Swami Kriyananda, humbly we bow before all of you. Help us to smile today with the innocence of true divine joy. Help us to see your love in all things. Help us to hear your laughter in the breeze, to feel your kindness in the sunshine, and to appreciate all of your blessings that you are showering upon us. Om, peace, amen. So in introduction to this song, Swami has written for us um, just a few brief sentences. So he says, Like St. Francis of Assisi, let us greet our fellow creatures lovingly. Eternally they belong to us and we to them. For we are, in one, for we are one in God. So with that in mind, let's sing this delightful song of divine joy. Hello there, Brother Bluebell. singing joys in the air come set your bells a ringing you've gladness to share hello there sister do drink linger a little while your colors in the sunlight would make a monarch smile what need have i for treasures diamonds or gold the fairest of all pleasures is here to behold. Hello there, dearest kinsmen, pebbles and laughing brooks, you timid little beetles that hide in private nooks. God made us of his gladness, come then and sing. To cure the world of gladness, so sing with a ring. To cure the world of sadness, so oh, ring, move a ring. To cure the world of sadness, so oh, ring, move a ring. Isn't that just fun? There's really not much more that needs to be said about it than that, simply. And actually, it sort of tickled me. I'm going to read another quote of Swamiji about this song. He says, Comments. This is a happy song, suitable for singing in the morning. There is no history behind it, just take it as it is. And that is so charming to me because that's exactly what this song feels like. It's just such a delightful anthem of God's joy in creation. And we don't need to overthink it, we don't need to overanalyze it, we just need to appreciate it. And we need to learn how to step into its flow a little bit more completely. I first got to sing this song with um, the Joy Singers in Los Angeles 
And um, if you haven't heard the four part arrangement of it, it's really delightful. And we'll get into why actually I think that's important and why we should all listen to the arrangement and appreciate the chordal progression. The melody itself is so playful and fun and light. But one thing that this song does, which is utterly delightful, is the chords play. That it's not, this is, that uses some dissonance, some chords that are a little bit out of the ordinary, and it's to extend the game. That's what it ends up feeling like, is these chords are sort of playing the game out. It's like playing a game of hide and go seek with the tonic that we're sort of seeking and looking for it at the end of the phrase, especially in that final verse when we repeat it three or four times. It's, it's Swami's playing with us in that chordal progression. And he's playing with the lyrics and he's playing through the analogies that he's making. As I was saying, uh, this song is delightful because it's really playful in so many ways, in its lyrics, in its melody, and in its chordal progression. And I was, I fell in love with this song when I sang it in a quartet for the first time because I got to sing all these odd and dissonant notes which resolve in joy. And there's something just absolutely genius in that because when you take something that could be dissonant and turn it into harmony, when you take something that could be uncomfortable and you turn it into joy, there's a genius in that and it's displayed in this song. And so I encourage you to go um, find a recording of it and listen to that. But we'll also explore that together in just the simple chords, or not so simple, but in the chords that I can play on the guitar and we'll be able to hear that. Just as an example, the last phrase that, I'm, that I mentioned, to cure the world of sadness, oh ring, bluebell ring, fairly straightforward as far as the melody is concerned, right? Sort of like I mentioned in other of his pieces, um, you kind of intuitively understand what the, what the melody is doing. To cure the world of sadness, oh ring, bluebell ring. But what's really fun is the chord progression. We're aiming to get back to this, this chord. But to get there, you know, you could do to cure the world of sadness, oh ring, bluebell ring. And only hear two chords. But Swamiji plays this game of like hide and go seek, that he's elongating the time it takes us to get there, which makes our hearts sort of delight and clap its hands all the more when we finally get there. And so he goes to cure the world, which already we're getting some fun dissonance and we're hearing some tension building in the chords. To cure the world of sad, and here, this A minor chord, without getting too stuck in the music theory, is what's called a relative minor to the major chord, C major. So hear how these sound fairly similar? This is bright and cheerful, whereas this is like a little bit more searching. It has a little bit more of a question to it, whereas this is more of a statement. And so what's fun is Swamiji starts to cure the world of sad. But on sadness, he plays the relative minor chord, which gives, and which is perfectly appropriate for the word sadness. And it's emphasizing sadness exists to cure the world of sadness. But then on the second syllable of sadness, we go sad, sadness. And we get this really weird, if I, rem if I know my music theory correctly, and if someone else knows guitar better than I do, please jump in. But I believe this is a B7 flat five chord, which is a whole mouthful, and is really kind of a weird sound. You know, you don't hear that kind of chord all, all that often in Swami's music. And then, it pulls back to another minor chord, but we're not there quite yet. What's so tantalizing is every time he goes from a tension chord to a resolutionary chord, it's close, but not quite home. And so we're wanting to find our way back. So we go to cure the world of sadness. Oh, ring. And we're so close here, but we're not quite there. Oh, ring, bluebell. And here he adds in another note of tension here at the top. Blue bell ring. And at last, on that last note, ring, we find our way home. So now just listen again and sort of feel how it's like he's playing 
this game of tug of war, of hide and go seek, of pulling out our hearts, making us wait for that final resolution. And let's just appreciate and enjoy that. So it goes something like this. To cure the world of sadness, so oh ring, bluebell ring. To cure the world of sadness, so oh ring, bluebell ring. To cure the world of sadness, so oh ring, bluebell ring. Isn't that delightful? Can you feel what I'm talking about? That it sort of it keeps pulling at your heart and you're yearning for that final resolution every time. And then that, that final time we sing it, he holds a ring on a minor chord and you're just waiting. Like it's just, you can, you know, it's like a little kid just waiting for the cannon to go off or the, for the firework to burst. Bluebell ring. And there's just sort of, it's delightful, and there's no two ways about it. There's nothing else to be said, really, than that. And um, this song should be sung, that, uh, you know, the melody just picks up your spirits. And to help us tune into that, let's listen to it now on the cello. And let's just feel how its playful melody has such a, an instantaneous effect on the heart. Whoops. I uh, made a mistake here. Um, and I forgot my notated sheet music, so wish me luck. It's, it's right here on the table, so it's not that far. If I, if I mess up too badly, I'll step out and grab it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Something like this. Look at that, the magic hand dropping in the music into the frame. Thank you, Bhavani. song just delightful and it's fun to play on the cello we can feel this sort of bipping and bopping melody as it's popping here and there and you could also hear I was having a little bit of fun pulling some glissandos down this song is meant to be playful and now let's take a look at the lyrics together just for fun because Swami's lyrics should never be overlooked even in a delightfully simple song like this which is to say that its intent is just to bring joy to your heart and he says, hello there, Brother Bluebell. And a bluebell is a delightful flower, which I actually just had to look up some images, which made it all the sweeter, that the branch or the little vine of a bluebell curls over and dangles underneath it all these little blue bells that look just like a church bell, but they're these delightfully saturated color. And as Asha put it once, the thought of a bluebell ringing is just absolutely delightful. So he says, hello there, Brother Bluebell. Play me a tune today that you could, as if you could hear them chiming to you like wind chimes, that they're playing a melody. Play me a tune today. The breezes on the meadow have made you look so gay. Have you ever seen flowers dancing in the wind before in the gentle breeze? It's magnificent. I was just in Yosemite last year and I walked through a meadow of wildflowers and had to pause and just appreciate the wonder of God's beauty before me. Then he goes on, the meadow larks are singing joys in the air. Come, set your bells a ringing, there's gladness to share. So again, he's just talking to the bluebell as if it was his own friend, which in fact it is in the spirit of St. Francis, like he said in the introduction. And then the second verse, hello there, sister dewdrop. And I love this, that you're talking to a dewdrop. 
linger a little while, he says. You know, stay, don't go so fast. Why do you have to, we have somewhere to be? Your colors in the sunlight would make a monarch smile. And indeed, have you ever seen the light reflecting out of a dewdrop and all the variegated colors of the rainbow? It's magnificent, would make a monarch smile. And then he goes on, what need have I for treasures, diamonds or gold? The fairest of all pleasures are here to behold. And so although this song is simple and he says, you know, don't think too deeply about it, there's also a deep truth here. That joy is all around you. You don't have to acquire great wealth or diamonds or gold to be happy. But we have to just appreciate the presence of God in everything around us. Third verse. Hello there, dearest kinsmen, pebbles and laughing brooks. Which is again so sweet that we're considering this, these parts of nature to be our very kinsmen, our very own family. And he goes on, you timid little beetles that hide in private nooks. And that part is just so much fun to sing because of the rhythm. You timid little beetles that hide in private nooks. It's just so fun. And it's like you can really feel as if you were talking to them. And then he goes on, God made us of his gladness. His gladness. Just think of that word. What, would it, what does it mean to be glad? Come then and sing. Come then and sing to cure the world of sadness. Oh, ring, bluebell, ring. Ring, bluebell, ring. And it's like you're encouraging nature to sing along with you, to sing the song of joy. And, you know, it's interesting that apparently, um, I, I haven't heard it directly, but I'm, I'm confident of its verity, that Swamiji said part of what's causing our trouble in the world is that the devas are retreating, that the devas are no longer appreciated, that we're no longer connecting to God in nature. And so those astral beings which are responsible for flourishing nature and for allowing it to grow and prosper are going somewhere else. Because if their work's not appreciated here, maybe they'll go offer it somewhere where it is. And um, we have a divine obligation, each one of us, to help bring those devas back into our world by simply appreciating their work by appreciating their beauty, by communing with them, by singing to them, by talking to them through a song like this. Swamiji says this song is appropriate for the morning. Maybe try singing it every morning this week. Sing it when you step out of your door. Sing it to the trees, to the clouds, to the sky, and to the flowers, perchance, if there are any. And just see what it does to your heart. I've been singing this over the last few days in preparation for this and playing it madly on the guitar, trying to get it ready. And it's just brought a smile to my face every time I do. So let's play it again and let's have some fun. just for my own sake, because I, I actually printed out two copies of this music, one for the guitar to help me out a little bit, and another 
for the lyrics. Um, let's do it one more time, just for fun, an encore performance, um, because I would enjoy that, and I think we all just might as well. So try singing along with me this time, and um, let's try and imagine that we're really singing to each one of these um, creatures, each one of these entities of nature as we come to the verse. So the first verse, a, rem a reminder, we're talking to the bluebell. On the second verse, we're talking to that little dewdrop. And then the third, we're talking to all of our little kinsmen, the pebbles, brooks, and beetles. So let's try that one more time. <laughs> are singing joys in the air come set your bells a ringing you've gladness to share hello there sister do in your little while your colors in the sunlight would make a monarch smile what need have i for treasures diamonds or gold the fairest of all pleasures is here to Knows. God made, God made us of his gladness. Come then and sing to cure the world of sadness. So oh, ring, bluebell, ring to cure the world of sadness. So oh, ring, bluebell, ring to cure the world of sadness. So oh, ring, bluebell, ring. And let's pause for a moment. And feel the reverberation of that final chord, of that final note, and of the essence of joy reverberating in your heart. And let's smile as this song says, you've gladness to share. And just imagine for a moment, what would it be like to not just sing this song, but to live this song, to experience life through the lens of this song to meet everyone that you come into contact with, with that gladness, with that smile, with this sort of divine generosity and appreciation. Imagine how life itself would open to you like a flower. All people are this way too, that when you appreciate them and appreciate their good qualities, they blossom, don't they? It's very interesting. I was talking with someone who is uh, very close with nature, and he said one of the secrets of nature is to simply appreciate it that when you pick the apples off of a tree, you're helping the tree perform its dharma and you're appreciating it and it will prosper the next year. And so too with people, just appreciate them. This song is a wonderful piece because it's just pointing out all the delightful qualities and everything around us. And so as Swamiji said, there's no backstory, just take it as it is. But let's take it as it is and take it into our own self and try to just lead with this vibration a little bit more and let's just see what happens. So let's sing it one more time because I have a little bit more time left on our broadcast. And this time through, God willing, my fingers willing, let's try to appreciate the game of hide and go seek, the game of play that he's doing throughout our chordal progression. And just feel how we're waiting for that resolution, but we're gonna have some fun on the way there. Your bells are ringing, you've got this to share. Hello there, sister, do linger a little while. Your colors in the sunlight would make a monarch smile. What need have I for treasures, diamonds or gold? The fairest of all pleasures is here to behold. Hello there, dearest kinsman. Pebbles and laughing books, you timid little beetles that hide in private books. God 
had made us of his gladness Come then and sing To cure the world of sadness So oh, ring, bow, bell, ring To cure the world of sadness So oh, ring, bow, bell, ring To cure the world of sadness So oh, ring Thank you, friends. Thanks for joining. Thank you, Swamiji, for writing such a wonderful piece of music. I hope you enjoy it this week, and we'll see you next time.